What is the Spirit and the Spirit-filled life? What are the ideas you have? Many believers have different ideas of what it is to be Spirit-filled. Some, it means you must be speaking in tongues, or you must have this gift or that gift, or you worship this way or that way. And some believe there's not much of that going on. In the Book of Mysteries, the teacher takes the disciple to the desert. It's a windy day. He tells the disciple to walk against the wind. So he does. And so he asks, what is it like to walk against the wind? What is it? And the disciple says, well, it's a struggle. It's a struggle. It's hard to do that. Well, he says, yes, the, it creates drag. Well, here is the mystery. When the Bible speaks of the Spirit of God, the word, the real word in Hebrew is the ruach. Try it, ruach. Actually, it, it means not only the Spirit, it means also the wind. And actually, it sounds like that. It's that when you say ruach, it's ruach. It sounds like the wind is passing by. And so you see this even in the prophets, Ezekiel. It says he sees the valley of dry bones and he's told by the Lord, prophesy to these bones and prophesy to the, to the spirit. But some translations say to the wind, it's the same thing, it's ruach. In the book of Acts, you, you read about Pentecost when the spirit came. Well, what sound did it make? It says it came like the sound of a mighty rushing wind. So what happens if the spirit is ruach, the wind, what happens if you walk against the wind? It creates drag. Aerodynamically, it's drag. It becomes harder to walk. It becomes harder to live your life. You get tired. It's a drag. Life becomes a drag. When you walk against the spirit, it creates a drag on your life. Everything you do becomes harder. Everything you do takes more energy to do less. When you go against the spirit, you're fighting against the wind and you can't walk against the direction of the wind without getting weary and worn out. When you live by the flesh, you're living against. When you live in sin, it's against the wind. And what direction does the wind of God blow? Well, the Spirit is the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh. So it blows in the direction of the holy. It always blows against the direction of unholiness. Now the teacher tells the disciple, now try something else. Try something else. Walk in the other direction. So now he's walking in the direction of the blowing of the wind. What's that like? Well, it was easy. There was no drag anymore. Well, you see, the wind helped him. See, when you walk in the direction of the spirit, you're walking in the direction of the wind. And when you do that, it makes everything you do easier. When you walk, Against the spirit, you got drag. When you turn around, it makes your life a breeze. It gives power to everything else. So if you're experiencing a drag on your life, well, turn around, turn your course, and walk in the spirit, and the drag will disappear. The spirit will empower everything you do. See, the answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. And when you turn around to follow the Lord and walk in the spirit, you're walking in the wind, and your life turns from being a drag to a breeze. You don't have to convince him to love you. He's the Chatan, he already does.